It's not enough to build a great template. You have to make a great template listing if you want people to find what you've built. In this video, we'll cover how to create a strong listing that gets your templates noticed in the marketplace. First, the basics. A template listing is how you'll share your template with the world, and it has to be approved by the Notion team before your template will appear in the marketplace. For example, consider this page about Notion's plant tracker. Let's break down the components of this listing together, starting with the title. This can be different from the title of your Notion page. But in this case, the title plant tracker is short, sweet, and descriptive. Perfect. Next up, description. Again, it's relatively short, but what's more important, it's simple and it's focused. This description shares what users can expect when they duplicate the product. Watering schedule, common issues, and picture tracking. Most importantly, it is not meaningless marketing words. Remember, you're talking to real people. Next up is categories. Believe it or not, categorization is one of the most important parts of template discovery, but few get it right. As of now, other than featured templates and search, categories are how people find your product. These categories revolve around themes like work or life and Notion features like charts or AI. Remember what we said about specificity being the key to a good template? That's true of categorization too. More specific categorization will help people find your templates. If you include too many category choices in your listing, your template might start to feel like noise in the marketplace. And finally, screenshots. Good template listings include three to five screenshots highlighting the unique and different parts of the template. Remember, these visuals are your chance to make a strong first impression and entice potential users. Great template listings go a step further and add videos. Generally speaking, it's worth the time to plan and capture eye-catching visuals that highlight your template's best features. Plus, it's often a win-win situation since it doubles as a distribution channel to give your video more views. Before we move on, I wanna cover a few reasons templates get rejected. The most common issues include broken or inaccessible URLs, disabled duplication, poor image quality, incomplete content, AI-generated content with little other value, branding issues, and unsupported languages. To avoid these common issues, double check your URLs, ensure duplication is enabled, and take care to submit high quality content in both your template and your listing. Now let's put these learnings to work and build a listing for our own template. To start, you'll need to log into your creator profile at notion.so slash profile slash templates. If you don't have a creator profile, check out this video. I'll be uploading my gift tracker template, which is how I keep track of items I'm buying for various family members around the holidays. First things first, my template needs a title. Remember, this is the primary indicator for what's in a template and it should be short and descriptive. Here, I'll do holiday gift giving tracker to capture the seasonality and functionality of my template. Here, we need to add the dot site link that comes from the publish menu inside Notion. Importantly, it's different from the .so link that's in your browser's address bar. I'll go ahead and copy it here, then navigate back to the template listing and paste it in. Once I do so, a cover image will be generated. The default image is great to use as a cover, but let's not stop there. Clicking Add Preview will bring us to a menu where we can add additional screenshots. There's two ways to do this, either by linking to subpages in a template and automatically generating screenshots like so, or by manually creating them and uploading them. And if you include a URL with your side peak or center peak open, it'll show up in the screenshot. And linking to a block will automatically scroll the screenshot down. These are just some fun hacks to consider. Keep in mind that screenshots won't change once they're generated. If you wanna tidy something up or remove a call out just for the screenshot, feel free to do so and add it back later. If you're having issues with this step, Double check that the dimensions of your images match what's expected here. Next, categories. You can browse categories in the drop down here or by exploring the full taxonomy in the template gallery. For example, this gift guide fits under the seasonal category and the gifts and wish list category. I will tag both of those here. Next up, description. I want my description to highlight the functions and features of the template. Namely, that it's a place to track gifts you're giving friends and family alongside purchase links and budget. I also want to note that it works well with the Web Clipper tool, so I'll mention that too. My final description may end up looking something like this. 
Once everything is set, we can go ahead and click Submit for Review. This alerts the Notion team that your template has been uploaded and kicks off the review process. And that's it for our lesson on listing a template. Remember, a great listing can make all the difference in attracting users to your template. Take the time to craft a compelling title, write a clear and focused description, choose appropriate categories, and showcase your template with high quality screenshots. Don't forget to double check all the technical aspects we discussed to avoid getting rejected. And most importantly, always keep your users in mind when creating your listing. You're not just selling a product, you're offering a solution to somebody's problem. In our next lesson, we'll dive into building your creator profile and establishing your brand in Notion's template marketplace. Until then, happy creating.